All right, guys, so now we're going to talk about a second ta uh, target that you can bring out to the range. This one's like a rubber target. Um, you know, I'll have Lisa lift, list where I got it at um, down in the comments below, um, but or the description below. I'm kind of new to this YouTube thing. But this target <laughs> right here, um, what's good about it is it's self-healing. Um, you can shoot it thousands of times, and it's still going to be a great target, so I don't have to continuously go up to the paper and either patch the paper up with stickers or put a whole nother target up. I can continuously shoot that. The only thing that I may have to do after a while is come up with some spray paint and spray paint it fresh and it's a brand new target. So whenever you shoot, you'll see where the impact is. This target's also specially designed and it has little blood packets that you can put right back here and it's the ocular vault. So your eyebrows down to your, uh, your nose if you hit it somewhere in there, that mimics you're going to hit right in the brain stem. So what you'll see is you'll see some um, red mist kind of mimicking, you know, like a blood splatter. That's just one thing that this target does. Same thing in here, you can do the, the center of the chest. So um, this is just another target. Uh, the one, one thing I like about this is I use this one a lot for self-defense training because paper targets are great. And again, practicing the fundamentals, they're great to have out on the range. However, whenever you're practicing self-defense now, you want to do um, a target like this, it's a 3D target, because you don't know what angle you're going to have to shoot. And if all you're used to is shooting straight on at a paper target every single time, you may be out in the real life and be like, oh man, I have an angle shot. So now i got to have an angle shot at this person. So what that mimics, if I'm used to shooting the nose, because that's the center of the target every time, but yet now I have an angle, then I'm naturally going to want to shoot the nose, because that's in my head center of the target. Well, if I do, yeah, I may hit his nose, but it comes right out here and he's still a threat. So I may have to aim back an inch or two and kind of hit him back there in the cheek because the brain stem runs back here. So you're going to have to hit a little bit farther back. So it's just something that you can do um, to make you aware of what, uh, where do you need to shoot on an actual person. One other thing that we didn't do today is you can put a t-shirt over this target and shoot through a t-shirt and see and that's why we shoot to an ongoing threat because we may not know where our bullet's impacting and the only way we're going to know is to tell that the threat's eliminated and they stop coming forward towards us so we're going to do a few drills with chaz and lisa and we're going to hope you guys enjoy it so let's go ahead lisa yep you want to hang it up first okay. okay what i want you to do so we're probably about five yards away from the target Okay. We're going to do this angle. I want you to shoot two shots, center mass. So aim two shots in the chest, center mass. And we'll talk about where you hit. Then we'll have Chaz do it. Then we're going to do two shots in the head each. And then we're going to do that same thing. We're going to do three rapid fire shots. And then that will be the end of the drone. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll have you stand right here. Okay. So you got the target in, in place. You got Lisa in place. All right. So Lisa, I want you to stand a little bit more over. Okay. I want you to aim center mass, center mass. I want you to do two shots. Okay, take your time, center mass. Shooter ready, good stance, good grip. Two shots, center mass. Try and look fine. Okay, let's guys, let's zoom in real quick. So center mass from that angle would be, you know, so if your heart is kind of right here, right? Mm -hmm. um, you probably maybe would have nicked part of the lower part. This one definitely would have got like the liver here. And at that angle, probably would have got the aorta too because you were at, shooting from the angle, so it was crossing the body. Um, no, but if I wanted to hit the heart here, if I aim right here, yeah, I may still hit it, but you know, I may pull my shot a little bit left. So. If you aim a little bit to the left, you can kind of see how you need to cross the body. So if you're shooting across the body, imagine, you know, you've got your aorta that runs through the middle. That's the biggest artery in the body. you got your heart right here, about the size of a fist, kind of offset the center. Okay. You've got your liver, which would definitely, um, you know, bleed. Uh, someone could bleed out from shooting them there. So there's all these vital organs. you got your lungs on this side, lung on this side. So that's just kind of one of those things. So now we're going to have Chaz again. We're aiming for the center mass of the chest, and we'll have him do it, and we'll talk about it. Okay. It's just as simple as that to, 
to make the target fresh and new. All right, guys, what we're going to do, again, we're going to do the same thing that me and Lisa did. Two shots, center mass, two shots, center mass. Okay, no time limit. Very much fire, make ready, keep your fingers off the trigger. Get ready. Alright, so that was a really nice group right there. So I would say that that guy's definitely, that guy is definitely uh, down for the count. So, alright, now we're going to move up to the head, okay? <clears throat> so when we're shooting, guys, where we want you to shoot is center mass, okay? So that way, if, alright, because you think you're going to be a little bit nervous if you ever had to pull a gun on someone and shoot them? Yeah, right? Every bullet that count, uh, comes out of that gun, you're accountable for. So with that being said, if I aim center mass and I move it, miss two inches to the right, two inches to the left, two inches up, two inches down, I'm still hitting the person, the intended target. However, as you get to smaller targets such as the head, you miss two inches to the right, you miss the target. You miss two inches up, you miss the target. Okay, I'll give you this one. If you miss two inches down, you get them in the throat. Be a throat shot, right? However, so the way that we want you to shoot is you're gonna aim center mass. However, Nowadays, there's active shooters out there that they could be wearing a bulletproof vest. And if you see someone who has a bulletproof vest on, do not waste your ammo shooting them in the bulletproof vest. The second place that we would go is the pelvic girdle. You have two femoral arteries that run down through your legs and you can lose up to two liters of blood in your pelvis. You only have five to six in your body. So if you lose almost half of your blood, you're probably gonna go unconscious, okay? The other thing is if I shoot you in the pelvis and now I just, uh, crush your pelvis and now you can't walk okay so the pelvic girdle is the second place we want to shoot the third place we want to shoot is if all we have is an arm or leg that's all that is exposed out then obviously you want to aim for the center of the arm or center of the leg because you have your bones that run down the center your arteries run down the center of your arm you hit an artery they're going to bleed out in less than five minutes you you uh, shoot them in their bone maybe now their arms broke or their bones sticking out so it's a distracting injury or they, they're not as accurate now shooting with one hand versus two. So that's the third place we'd aim, if that's all we had exposed. And then last but not least, if all you have is a headshot, then you wanna aim for the ocular bolt, eyebrows down the triangle, upside down triangle, down to the nose, right in there, because that will go right to the brainstem and lights her out. So that's the last place we wanna shoot. You don't wanna take that shot if you haven't practiced that on the range, in especially different distances, because it's a smaller target, but if your life depends on it, you might have to, that may be the only shot you have. So we're gonna have, now we're gonna have them shoot at the head and do the same drill. Alright, again, we're gonna shoot from this angle, okay? So from this angle, I want you to aim, So naturally we're gonna wanna try to aim center match, right? Well, actually, from the angle that you're at, you might have to aim a little bit over here. Remember, that bullet's crossing the body. So if it crosses in front of the brain stem before you hit it, then, yeah, you may have done damage to them, but it, they may still be actively a threat. So just remember, you might have to aim back in here. So that's kind of where I'm looking for the shots to be, okay? Okay. All right. We're going to take two shots, two shots, center mass of the head, okay? Get ready. Good stance. Good grip. Fire. Go ahead and reload your car. Alright, so it looks like your first shot was the next shot. Possibly the carotid artery. Okay. Um, the second shot was the chin okay that's still gonna do damage all right so those are not bad shots but you can kind of notice as we shoot the smaller target we can flinch again you're kind of flinching right before you pull the trigger that's why you pulled the shot down and this one was down because you're probably aimed up here am i correct and so you kind of pulled the shots okay those are just some things that you know just working from different angles shooting from different angles is just going to make us a better shooter okay. guys you're up we're gonna do the same thing Two shots, center mass of the head. Two shots, center mass of the head. Shoot already on the buzzer. Stand by. Nice, nice group. 
Well, I put the buzzer on him. Um, so you kind of put a little bit of pressure on him because do you think that if you were shooting someone in real life that you're probably going to be nervous, the pressure's going to be on. So that's how you like to train if we're self-defense training. But he got two really nice groups. Probably couldn't do that again to save his life. But he got <laughs> two, two really nice groups on that. So that's a good job, Chaz. <laughs> Not going to say very much, but I guess good job. <laughs> so guys, this is just some things that you can do with targets like this. Again, I'll have Lisa put in the description below um, kind of where we got these targets at. But, you know, it's just another way you can have fun on the range. Yeah, that's amazing. That was fun.